Yo, Wagwan, my people down in Oz. This is AJ from Fire from the Gods. Shout out to Heavy Mike for having me. And we're chatting about Soul Revolution, the collabs. Wagwan! Hey, hey, what an intro, brother. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fantastic, my bro. I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm, my head's up. I just got told that I'm having a third child, which is going to be a third girl. So I'm fucking fantastic. Fuck yeah, brother. Congratulations, mate. That's great news for the morning. Yeah, it is. It, 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 well, it wasn't my morning that I heard it. I <laughs> true that. I've got I've got two young daughters myself, bro, and yeah. daughters are a beautiful oh, thing. Cool, cool. Oh, Girl squad, baby. That's Girl squad, missing. hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. We've been, been badass, strong, brave, smart women in the town. <laughs> and I bet you AJ's not going to argue about that either because he's way outnumbered now. Yes, sir. Exactly. Number <laughs> three now. So what are you saying, bro? Heavy mag. Let's, let's talk to me. Talk to me, man. What would you like to know, mate? Are you interviewing me this time? Are we having something different? This is great. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, so we're here to talk about, as you say, mate, the release of Soul Revolution Deluxe, the collabs, which is out in June. So it's an extension of 2022's album Soul Revolution, mate, but you still get the sort of... Yes. The same feeling releasing a deluxe version of an album is what you do when the original comes out. Uh yeah, you know what? I mean, I think I'm 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 more I'm happy about this one because as I've told everyone, uh most press that it's about the it's about the family with, with this one. It's it's about the homies, some really <clears throat> some really solid uh close you know individuals to fire from the gods so i'm really excited about this one i am excited about the release typically you know fire from the gods we'll release a record and then we do some sort of reimagined uh version of it we've done it since uh we, our first record narrative and uh you know, it's always like, okay, cool. And, you know, I'm glad. And people are really excited about hearing the different version of, of, of the song or a different take or reimagining again of, of, of the, uh, the record. But with this one, it's collabs. It's, it's people that we specifically really are close to our hearts as, uh, as brothers, as bands, as musicians. So we really like handpicked those that we wanted for this. And, and I didn't want it to, I didn't want to blow it up and, you know, get a, a massive name on it and, you know, spend a ton of money going after JD Jonathan Davis or, or some big name to try and boost sales or anything. We really wanted to do it as some homies that we wanted to show love and some people that we know really respect our, our band and respect what we got going on. Yeah, that's fantastic, bro. And the original came out on October 28th in 2022, mate. So on, on that album, mate, like did fans embrace that as much as what you thought they would? Uh, you know, that's a great question because hardcore Fire From The Gods fans really enjoyed the record. But I feel like it was it was at a weird time for us to release a record because there was so much happening at our label and so much and i'm not blaming anyone for you know the for the difference between the american sun and as opposed to uh so revolution but i think i think there's it, it didn't it didn't reach enough ears essentially what i'm saying but hardcore fire from the gods fans really did fuck with the record and really loved it and and that's enough for me because yeah. that, that lets me know that the message really is out there and spreading. Yeah. That actually sort of leads me to my next thought, bro. Like in, in the modern age of music, when things are uh, like they're easier in a lot of ways, but they're difficult as well. Like sort of how, how do you measure the success of an album these days? You know, like back in the old days, your mates would ring you up and they go, yeah, man, that was fucking great. You know, but these days you've got yeah. Spotify numbers, you've got, you've got so many different yeah. things. How do you measure it? There's so many metrics, right, to say the success of a record and and all these new things because you know obviously we you know hardcore album sales, uh, as far as like you know selling selling a a physical CD, you know that's not that's almost a thing of the past. I mean that's obsolete. So yeah, you have all these metrics and all these small increments, and it gets in you know these weird calculations and and different equations. But for me, it's 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 the response that I get from fans. You know, we just played two major festivals here in the states, and you know people the response to the newer songs and playing songs like I and I, which is also revolution or, or, um, 
SOS we've played and people, they hear it and they, they talk about the message and what it means to them. That to me is the success for, of a record. That's the, that's success, that, that is gratifying and self edifying enough for me to say, I'm doing some real good. And I don't, I'm not trying to sound like a, a social justice warrior or exalting myself as a person to look up to, but it's like, you know, I go through real shit and I'm a real dude, man. And my band, us, we're real guys and we live real lives. And so I make, I make music for real people. And when real people come back to me and say, yo, I feel that struggle. I'm going through something similar or I've been through this and the music has has done this for me. It, it means a lot. And that to me is a success of, of a record. Fucking beautiful answer, brother. So so it sort of touched on this before, man, but I want to go into a bit more depth now. Like Soul Revolution Deluxe, the collabs features four refreshed fan favorites and one cover. So I want to run through the new editions one by one, bro. And you can tell me a bit more yeah. about the new versions and why you chose the people to be on it. So we'll start with Soul Revolution, which features Young Mosh. Yeah, so, I, you know, I, I haven't I started a, a record label with some homies, man. And, you know, we're trying to do something quite different as far as hip hop is, is and the, dyna the, the, the scene of new metal coming back and where hip hop and, and, and metal intersect. So Young Mosh, it, it, perfectly displays that and you know it, it wasn't it wasn't about an ego boost like oh look at my artist you know like kind of like rappers do you know like in 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 the hip-hop scene it's always like let me put my artist on so that everyone can hear what i'm doing here my new guy no it was like yo we wrote this dope song and young marsh has this vibe about him and the, their band. I was like, yo, let, let's put my man on this song and let him do his thing. And he did, you know what I'm saying? He added, you know, the, 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 the brutality that, that is in them, their music, the heaviness of his voice and <clears throat> his style. So it, it, it perfectly suited him. So, so revolution, man. And you know, they, he is a big fan of fire from the gods. So I know it meant a lot for him to be on a, to be on a track with us. And the next one is our SOS, which features Nate Vickers. Yeah. So Nate has become this like massive uh, TikTok kind of star, but a little do people know, you know, he's got Jared Leto and, and, uh, the guys shine down and all these amazing singers that are follow him on TikTok and and love his stuff and and have and you know he's done Lincoln Park covers that the world likes and he has all these followers. But he started as just a kid that used to hang around in the studio with Fire from the Gods and he developed his sound with some of our like major collaborators and Richie from fire from the gods helps write his music. And so it, it, it meant something to us because yeah, he's got popular, but he has a particular vibe to him and his voice. That's really why I wanted him on it because that song is very emotional and it comes from an emotional place. And he's like the emo kid that everyone loves now. So it's like, yeah, let's put our brother on the song, you know, and uh, the same with, with uh double edged sword. Sila isn't even, very active right now as a band but Jaden is a is a massive homie of mine he's a he's a he's a uh he's he, he's a, a someone that I've respected for years and we we come from the same scene in New York City the same hardcore scene that I came up in and you know I was like I saw him at a um industry party in New York that was actually a release a release party for Soul Revolution the original version of the of the record and I was like bro I'm so glad you're here I haven't seen you in forever and yo, you know, the streets miss Sila. And he, you know, we had this like emotional reunion because I hadn't seen him in a while. But, you know, and it, it just made sense. It was like, yo, let's put Jaden on the track. I don't know if Sila's going to come back in full force, but I know that my boy Jaden really loves and respects Fire from the Gods. And it was beautiful to have him as, a, as as part of it all. So we'll move on to the one that um that I'm really interested in, mate. Um, Thousand Lifetimes, which has got Corey Glover from Living Colour. Yes, yes. An OG, man, an OG in the business, an OG in in just consciousness and just an, an all and a dynamite individual, man. Um we really since when we got signed to Better Noise uh entertainment, which was eleven seven at the time, we were everyone kind of threw around this idea of, yo, let's collab with um with with uh 
Corey Glover because they're like everyone yo we, we know Corey Glover we know Corey Glover and I'm like Corey Glover you mean the cult of personality Corey Glover the <laughs> man yeah and uh so Corey Glover on a track is is a is a dynamite is a, is a dynamite collab man and he he killed it man one of the best voices in the game underrated but known and and respected so there's not much more i could say to it and the way he brought out an already emotional song and a song that meant a lot to me personally uh i think he really he did his thing and i and 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 i i i mean he blessed it he blessed the song okay. i've actually only just realized about the pennies just dropped but um Corey's just brought out a, a new band and they're actually called soul revolution so that's the ultimate yeah. ultimate compliment they can pay that album yeah yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and then the, the cover on the album is um, "Gorilla Radio" by Rage Against the Machine, mate. Like, great fucking song. But why did you choose that yeah. particular song to cover? Uh, I've you know I love Rage Against the Machine, man, and I grew up like really respecting the band because they they spoke to me when I heard first heard Rage Against the Machine. I'd I'd never heard that anyone speak like that on a on a record and have that sort of of that sort of uh, aggression and the the political charge lyrics. It was everything that I was taught as a kid. He was talking about the issues that I, that 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 really affected um, that affected uh, my community. So I wanted to really, you know, I looked up to Rage Against the Machine and Guerrilla Radio was one of the first songs I, I'd ever, one of the first tunes I'd ever heard from from Rage. And I learned it as a kid. I played drums to it. So when the band was like, yo, let's find a, a song to cover. Yeah, we wanted to do a lot of other things like Jimi Hendrix. We wanted to do a lot of other really cool things. And someone said, yo, Rage Against the Machine. And it made so much sense. So it, it was perfect for us, man. You know, and I think we made it our own not we didn't just do a cover for cover and but ben, bands like at, at your level bro like um do you, do you consult other bands before doing their songs like would you have called zach and sort of told him that you're going to do it and gave him a listen or, or no. did you get that no but man i've tried to reach out to rage so much and tried to talk to to talk to those guys and it's never it's never been like I don't know, you know, it, it took a while for us to get clearance, but I wanted, I, that was kind of my way of saying like, you know, in, in sports, when they have, in sports, when they're like, uh, oh, come and get me kind of thing, when someone wants to uh, transfer to a team, you know, so me saying like, yo, I really respect you and I and I look up to you. Fucking take us on tour, man, you know? <laughs> like, Damn straight. Exactly. <laughs> So you've you've chosen those four songs and and the cover to go on the deluxe version, mate. But how do you you know like albums are very personal things for artists, as as you know. So how do you choose which songs to sort of revamp and put out again? Because I could imagine you would have liked to do all of them in a sense. You know, we just wanted to, to give. I wanted to sh to showcase the songs that we really liked and really loved on the record. And 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 those were the, those were like the ones that meant a lot. And I thought that a lot of people deserve to like hear those and hadn't heard them before and that oh, cool. now you've not long finished a, a long touring campaign including shows with our uh, seven dust of mice and men megadeth by finger death punch plus a few festivals mate so are you taking a break for a bit now to refresh especially now you're gonna become a dad again yeah we got a we got a new record man we're working on bro we gotta write this new record yeah and how, far, yeah. how far into that are you, bro? Like, is it going to be what fans expect from Fire from the Gods, or are you just going to go to pull out a few surprises? I think we're gonna we're, we're gonna try and go back to our roots a little bit, man. Of being like just you know the heaviness, the the struggle hasn't changed, the message hasn't changed, but the anger and the ferocity is still there, and we're about, and I think that's what we're what we're about. Very good, mate. All right, AJ. Well, thanks very much for your time today, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you. You're an inspiration, bro.